welcome my Cancerian Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. Welcome to your five card draw. What do I need, Reed, uh, for this new moon, your new moon in Cancer, uh, waxing to full in Aquarius? I am your reader, Mark Angela Lyons Mal, for short, professional witch, professional intuitive president. I'm joining the Circle Production since 1998, son of a Cancerian mother. Uh, the Archangel of Lions, Mark Angelo Lions. But you can call me Mal. Hey, my crab cakes, <laughs> my crabby heads, my crabby patties. I almost add that to the list, crabby patties. Uh, love you all so much, my, my cardinal uh, water signs, the uh, big old king of cups. Uh, let's get down to business, uh, shall we? We're doing a five card draw. If you're new to the channel, it just means one card from five uh, different decks. This times we, this times, this time we are uh, doing uh, four oracles, one healing system. This is exactly what I did the last time, I'm pretty sure. To get you the clues, tips, and hints about what you need to be aware of, this new moon in Cancer to full in Aquarius, July 2021. Uh, it's also, in a way, a spell kit, right? Because the five decks represent the five magical elements, fire, earth, air, water, spirit, wands, pentacles, swords, cups, major arcana, but, you know, not that. There's no tarot in this one. I love the all oracle reads. They're way more fun in some ways, but not as detailed in others. So if anything you see here, or really if ever, uh, you would like a reading with me, it's easy enough to do. Find me on Twitter, uh, uh, Facebook, and or Instagram. Now that Facebook and Instagram are essentially the same thing. Uh, just drop me a message in the DMs and I'll set something up with you. Or you can try going to uh, my website or drawing the circle at gmail.com. If you do prepay for a reading there, do understand they don't notify me when you make the payment. They notify me when it clears. Uh, so a client did that and actually emailed me at the same time. So I really appreciate when that happens so that I can, you know, get ready for you. Uh, other than that, uh, my book Words of Grace is on Kindle, $9.99 United States dollars, cheaper than a pack of cigarettes at this point. So if you would like to uh, get more of the mystical uh, side of me, it is essentially a book of prayer, but from a professional witch with a background in Course in Miracles and Christian mysticism and Buddhism and Hindu and angels and all that stuff, go check it out. You can actually preview it with the Kindle app. All right, enough business. Let's get down now to your business. Enough about me. What do you think about me? Thank you, Bette Midler and Beaches. Uh, yeah, uh, both feet on the floor. If you can, it's a general read. You know that. I'm done sort of explaining YouTube reading rules, right? And if you're thumbing down anybody's readings on... Uh, on YouTube, I really don't get it. It's a general read, but what else? People are gonna. People are people, and why should it be? You and them should get along so awfully. Such a Generation X. Anyway, uh, all the decks that I read are uh, at the bottom of the description box with other cool linky poos for your entertainment, education, and edutainment. Should you be so called? Uh, otherwise, yeah, my my social media stuff is down there too. Otherwise, like I said, both feet on the floor, if you can, focus on your breath, if you will. I will do the same to get you the clarity, guidance, and grace that I can from the divine through my intuitive, clairvoyant, clairaudient self and these uh, decks of cards. Please take a nice deep breath. Hmm, element of fire, element of fire. As I call upon the ancestors of magic, miracles, and mysticism, please, my beloved's work through me, leave the card in my hand, the magical spell card by Lucy Cavendish. If it's not Lucy Cavendish, it's crap. So please, what is uh, their spell fragment, their spell card to help them shape and focus uh, their element of fire, their will, their desire, what they yearn for, what they burn for. This new moon, their new moon in Cancer waxing to full in Aquarius. <laughs> Oh, darling, I love this word, but people forget what it originally means. Glamour. Oh, G oh it's backwards. G-L-A-M-O-U-R. Of course it was facing me. Oh, honey, I'm good at glamour magic. I am Leo rising. Um, but let's see what the spell card says. Into this mirror I now see. The realms of possibility. Hmm, that sounds more like mirror magic to me and scrying. I was all right. 
for a while. I could smile for a while. <laughs> I was right, Orbison, in my spirit guide group here, because I've been scrying. Now, look, glamour, like I said, a lot of people don't get the original meaning of it. Nowadays, it's like, you know, <laughs> fashion, style, glamour, and rock and roll. That's great. Um, but a glamour is essentially an illusion or at least um, the magical amplification of what's already there, which is what, you know, the word cosmetic from the word cosmos, it doesn't mean cover up, it means to enhance what's already there, like the cosmos, to really bring forward the totality there. Uh, but glamour magic, I'm good at it. If, you, if, you're, um, if you've ever had to audition for anything or, for, or interview for a job, like who hasn't, right? And you just sort of up the, vi up the vibe a little bit there. Uh, into this mirror, I now see the realm of possibilities, and let's call that the realm of possibilities within yourself. A little interior reflection, but we got four more cards to clarify that. <laughs> oh, glamour. I mean, yes, one form can certainly lead to the other. I've, uh, I was involved tangentially in New York Fashion Week for a bunch of years, driving a friend of mine around who was writing a book. And, I mean, I, I sat, like, this far away from Heidi Klum, right? But, you know, of course she had makeup on. She's gorgeous. I mean, she'd be gorgeous no matter what she had going on on her face. So she was just red. She's really sweet. Really liked her. I met a lot of cool people along the way. Eh. I'm like a visiting dignitary in those words. I'm from worlds. I'm from the mystical world. So let's get you some more information. Element of Earth. Crystal Oracle. Tony Carmine Salerno. What's your Element of Earth to help you focus and ground? That glamour, which just cracks me up. <laughs> I'm casting for a magazine subscription. Breathe. As I call upon my beloved Archangel Ariel, one of the three Archangels of the North, the powers of Earth, hence uh, the Earth element here in the Crystal Oracle. What is the Crystal Oracle message? Uh, perhaps the stone itself indicated that they might have, that they could use, that they might want if they don't, any of that, some of that, to help them ground, like a touchstone, like something to, to help bring it into form. This glamour in their element of fire, this their new moon in Cancer, to the full moon in Aquarius. Great name for a girl, Beryl. Oh, Beryl, I shall name my first daughter Beryl. Now, actually, Beryl is a larger family. I have an Alexanderite back there ring. It was actually my wedding ring from my first marriage. After we broke up, I buried it in the ground for a year, dug it back up. I'm not giving up a rare Alexanderite just because of him. <laughs> Bless his heart. He's a Pisces with a Sag moon. He didn't know it was coming or going. Uh, so let me read you this, Bar Beryl. Nobody names their daughters Beryl anymore, or their sons for that matter. I would. If I had if I had another girl cat. I have three boys though, I don't think that's why. Speaking of, come here, Sabbers, you need something, baby. Now you're just gonna check out the food bowl. There's still the same bits that was there this morning. Motherhood never ends, does it? Uh Beryl, your keywords. I'm keeping an eye on him. <laughs> some suspicious going on. Masabi. Follow me on Instagram if you want to see pictures of my cats because it seems like every day I post one. Uh your keywords resolution, lovely. Uh stress reduction, potential new possibilities. Now, possibilities there, you've got the double whammy. It's written on the card here and it's there. So this glamour might very well be seen through uh, illusions into true possibilities, right? Uh, but also stress reduction, which I'm kind of down for. Uh, an ongoing problem or dilemma will soon be resolved in an unexpected way. Now that's the thing, when you hear unexpected, no matter how you try and figure it out, it, it either, uh, we just can't. It's unexpected, it's scripted that way uh, in the divine plan. We're just not supposed to know anything until we need to know it, and that sucks. But which is why I know divination. If something comes through a divination system, I'm supposed to know it at that moment, because I didn't know it the day before. Uh, as a consequence, your stress levels and anxiety will decrease, right? So if something resolves itself, you get this resolution, and it's like, oh, oh, thank you, my gods, right? Through this exciting new pathways, oh, through this, comma, exciting new pathways open for you, and you discover new possibilities for your life. 
As this current situation is resolved, you will simultaneously and subconsciously let go of a past regret or guilt that has only served to sabotage creative possibilities that have been available for you for quite some time. Run on sentence alert. Uh, it is time for you to shine. Open your heart and you'll see the unlimited potential that resides within you. And I think that's what this is talking about, right? Now look, you, you're not going to expect this resolution even though now you know about it. You could say, all right, uh, we'll see what the Matt Con healing mantra is, but my, the mantra in that that I use all the time uh, for releasing expectation is only the highest possibilities come to be, whether I envision them or not, right? According to the divine plan, we're not in control of that. We're not in control of that. We have the free will in the moment to choose love or fear. And it seems like there are gradations in between and down here there is, but really there's not. So uh, a glamorous barrel for you. Let's uh, talk to the angels. Cat hair on my nose. Not shocked, not shook. Uh, let's see my Cancerians. Let's call to the Gabrielites. Breathe. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My angels of uh, water, powers of the West, the Gabrielite Legion, please. Uh, one card in clarity the Cancerian Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus Sun watching this video, receiving this uh, reading with glamour in their fire, barrel in their earth, for their element of air, their thoughts. Who or what are the healing angels, the legion of healing? It's healing with the angels oracle, so that will help them heal whatever needs to be healed here. This full moon in Cancer waxing to new in Aquarius. Lovely. Playfulness. Playfulness. There is immense healing through playfulness. That's why I do these readings this way. Look, when I read a client, it's not that I, I'm not... It's not that I am inauthentic on or off camera. What you see is what you get with me because you know what? I'm 52 years old. Yes, I know I don't look at thank you, uh, the, the, thank you rapid wrinkle repair, <laughs> right, hydration and living healthy-ish, um, but I know I have to keep it playful for myself or I burn out, so certainly in a private read, when shit gets real, shit gets real, and I'm there, and uh, you know, I'm not a box, I don't have sides, but at the same time, I have massive support and spirit to help support others through what they're going through. So catch the playful when you can, right? It's almost like this is saying, it's like, don't play with this in the mind, use the mind to play right? Because you're not going to expect this. There's some potential that you don't see coming, right? Possibilities. And uh, with a glamour uh, on there to really see within your inside of yourself, perhaps that way of you turning this into a game. Now, I don't mean gaming someone, but I do mean in the way of saying, all right, I'm going to play my role. I'm going to play my role in this. I don't know what's going to happen. It's like improv. Oh, God, theater metaphor. My mom and I spoke last night. What was she watching? Oh, 1776, the musical. And I told her, Mom, you're giving me MTPST team. <laughs> musical theater post-traumatic stress <laughs> disorder. <laughs> like, the songs instantly were coming into my head, right? But that's my mom. Like, now that she doesn't have to necessarily parent me, because I was hell on wheels as a teenager, it's very playful between the two of us. So why not turn your mind to the healing angels of playfulness and ask them to help you heal in a playful way, right? To, to find a way of playing your role here that, that really shows you the possibilities inside of you. Now, there was, what was that other keyword for Beryl? They're just, they're saying there's a keyword that particularly applies to this. I just want to see why they are bringing me back to this. It would be nice if I could find it in alphabetical order, Martha. Uh, stress reduction, resolution, stress reduction, right? Laugh. Look, my guide said to me when I was a young child, I didn't even know it was guides at the time, I think, they said, if you get to, if you get to choose laughter 
over tears do so because there will be times where there's nothing to do but cry. And as a result, and because of my family, and particularly because of my mother, I have a really dark sense of humor. But it's like Carrie Fisher said in Wishful Drinking, tragedy happens and it's horrible. And after time passes, you look back and sometimes you find the funny in it. Location, location, location. She's in my spirit guide crew. The Shecky Collective. So my water signs, uh, Whispers of Love Oracle. Let's get you the element of water here, right? Being the water sign that you are. What is the emotional aspect of this? Please take a nice deep breath. Hmm. As I call to the higher selves of all involved, right? No reason to think that this is about a soul contract yet, but this is our party turn to her deck. This deck turns the party where all of a sudden it's a soulmate or something that just happened in the Gemini array with the union of hearts. So please, what is the piece of information, inspiration, or insight from the higher selves of all involved, fifth dimension and above, eighth chakra, and uh, above for this Cancerian collective sun, moon, rising, Venus, I casting for glamour with beryl and playfulness, this their new moon in Cancer, waxing to full in Aquarius, July 2021. Actions speak loudly, express your love through your actions and you know that's going to have something to do with the resolution indicated here in the barrel card right and the stress reduction but it does say it's unexpected so you know uh, yes of course this action could be coming towards you you might be feeling that in your uh, element of water not just your emotions but in your feelings uh, but to really this playfulness feels uh pivotal, like the fulcrum in the, in the seesaw of how you are going to experience this, uh, but actions speak loudly, That and particularly with the element of water here, you would have a very, very strong energy and motion emotion, right? That this real intuitive uh, thing, perhaps to respond to action uh, being taken towards you. You know, uh, into this mirror, I now see the realm of possibility. I would recommend scrying just to kind of like settle the mind and mirror scrying at the other kind. I'm actually better at fire scrying at this point. Although, you know, like a crystal ball is completely clear. Meh. Even if it's quartz, give me something with inclusions and it kind of turns in my hand like this. And then I get like, <laughs> like a holographic picture inside of it. If you've ever had it happen, um, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, I've seen so much stuff in stones. Actions speak loudly. A barrel would be a really good stone to do that with. Particularly the green, right? Easier to see than in the Alexanderite, which changes color, by the way. Uh, fire, earth, air, water. We've got now Spirit, the Matt Kahn healing mantra deck. Adore this deck. Um, absolutely, when I do clients, they don't get... We're not done until we pull at least one of these for them, because this is what you can do. Like, if you are casting for it, then, of course, the five magical elements in balance make for a good spell or intention. However, you know, whatever you call it. I'm just a witch. I'm... I'm <laughs> I am not the only just, I am just the bitch. Uh, power. Uh, so this would be the healing mantra that will help the spell go as you heal, right? Kind of like to fuel it. Some good energy, energy uh, from the higher selves of all involved. You know, I still don't get that this is necessarily soul contract based, but let's do general assembly. Breathe. Yeah, 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 big old crowd of the Ascended Masters of uh, General Assembly. Please, General Assembly of you all, really, no idea what this pertains to. They might at this point, but please clar clarify it for them with the perfect healing mantra to represent the element of spirit for this happy... Uh, I just reverted back to the soulmate contract reads that I just did. Maybe you want to check that out. I don't know. Uh, for this Cancerian Collective. There we go. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, I'm watching this video, receiving this reading. Uh, within their element of fire, what they need to cast for, glamour into this mirror, they now see the realms of possibility. Working with Beryl, that stress reduction, which came through really strong halfway through the read, and that resolution that seems to come 
out of nowhere and that double whammy of uh, possibilities in there, calling upon, working with, thinking about, reading on, meditating on, praying to, if I didn't say that twice, the healing angels of playfulness in their mind, their element of water, action, speak loudly, that they are to express their love through actions. What is then the element of spirit to complete the five-pointed star in the circle for this Cancerian collective, sun, moon, rising, Venus sign, this new moon, their new moon in Cancer, waxing to full in Aquarius, July 2021. This is what brings the playful. Uh, allowing appreciation. The value of my life increases every time I appreciate everything. And I don't need to look at the card anymore. I've done these all. It feels like hundreds of times. That's probably not true. There are 52 of them, though, so you could pick one uh, a week. Like, start one at your birthday. Um, or in Cancer. Maybe if it's past. Sorry. Uh, but allowing appreciation. Now, before I even read what's in the book, they give this to me every time. Rampage of Appreciation, Abraham Hicks. Even if you're not, you know, whole hog into the Law of Attraction, I used to be, I'm not anymore, because it's not so much what the Law of Attraction teachers teach, it's what the ego does to it that makes you feel like you're in control of the divine plan. <laughs> oh, that's a hot one. Yeah, no, 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 no. We're in the game. We're not in control of the game. Maybe our higher selves are, but then our higher selves are going to game it so that we grow and develop and be the best that we can be and sometimes getting what we want when it's not what we need is not always that. So to raise your vibration, allowing appreciation, this is definitely part of this playful thing. And even Abraham Hicks, right? The first book I got from them, I think is their first book, uh, Ask and It Is Given, and, and they call them games, their processes. The part one of the book is um, text, you know, Abraham speaking through Esther Hicks. And the second part is, well, processes, but they call them games. And that would be a great take for you mentally, because it's all mental. I have my own process of that that I learned from the Ashaya monks, uh, praise, gratitude, and love. But you can probably find that in, in my back catalog here in the live streams. I'm sure I've talked about it somewhere. Uh, allowing appreciation, our last card down. Uh, the value of my life increases every each time. The value of my life increases each time I appreciate everything in it. Now that doesn't mean you have to sit there and appreciate it all at once, but it's holographic. It's, I like coffee. Right? I like honey in my coffee. I like raw, natural honey in my coffee. Right? I love a nice cold shower on a long hot day, right? That's appreciation. Like, sometimes people try and force it. Just start with that, right? Uh, when appreciation is allowed, everything is seen as a gift for the evolution of your soul. And that is true. Now, the ego doesn't want to see that necessarily when it gets something that it needs, but not when it, what, when it wants. But that's why it's called allowing appreciation. I am willing, right? The value of my life increases every time I appreciate everything in it. Even it's like, yeah, I kind of like that, right? Uh, the ego releases a little and the soul grounds a little more. The more often you appreciate, the greater value you feel within your own life. Uh, while there is true worth in uncovering life's purpose, absolutely, most feelings of discontent are not caused by what you do or don't do, which is interesting with action there uh, uh, in your water. They are created simply by a lack of perceived value in your environment. And really, you got to figure the dungeon master or whatever, the game master, uh, has the divine, whatever you want to call it, has set up exactly where you are in time and space for the maximal effect of your soul's evolution, not your personality's com uh, comfort or your ego necessarily getting what you want. All right, I'll say this. Um, the thing about law of attraction in general, the way, not so much, like I said, how it's been taught, but how people um, run with it. Here's how it goes. When what you want and what you need are the same thing and it manifests, you think you did it. But when what you need is not what you want, you think you're doing something wrong, right? And so you got to like burn the old, what do they call those things? My old vision board and make a new one. No, 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 no. If there's something that you really, truly want in your heart, in your soul, it's down the line. It's coming. And that's why spell work and prayer and all this intention stuff, in a way, it's sort of a psychological way of bringing yourself into alignment with what you want. But Abraham Hicks will tell you. Appreciation will do that as well. 
Um, you're waiting for the... Okay, 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 okay. Uh, let me back up. Uh, uh, the, while there is true worth in uncovering your life's purpose, most feelings of discontent are not caused by a lack, uh, are, not uh, are not caused by what you do or don't do. They are created simply by a lack of perceived value in your environment. Instead of waiting for things to get better before you allow appreciation, you must be willing to acknowledge the value in all things. This will awakening, awaken the feelings of elation in uh, in uh, that are always alive within you, alive but perhaps dormant. This mantra is ideal for increasing worthiness, decreasing feelings of scarcity, and raising your vibration. Yeah, let me put it together for you. Yeah, it's a pretty decent spell if you want to do it like that. Please take a nice deep breath. Yes, my beloved pantheons of the divine may the cancerian collective sun moon rising venus signs watching this video receiving this reading be fully blessed with all that they need this their new moon in cancer waxing too full in aquarius that they can allow appreciation the value of their lives increasing every time they appreciate everything in it so that in some way, shape, or form, they may take action because actions speak loudly, expressing their love through actions in a playful way that heals, calling upon uh, the healing angels of playfulness in their element of air with that energy of barrel, whether they have or get the stone or not, the stress reduction to see the possibilities around as well as within them in some resolution uh, that comes to pass for something that's been long-standing and has to do with their heart's desire somehow, so that their desire may be uh, brought into form with glamour into a mirror they now see the realms of possibility for the well-being of all and with harm to none as we will it so let it be done so motivate and so it is yeppers dig it do 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 as soon as i hit that knock it starts playing in my head it's not actually playing in the room it's upstairs on the computer ready to be whatever nice read i mean really nice read and i would work it uh, uh, if I was to do the spell, I would get a piece of barrel, like I said, I have Alexanderites close enough, you know, but glamour magic, and grab a mirror, right, into, you know, into this mirror really gives you an extra magical tool there, and be playful with it, and it's going to give you the emotional oomph, but you'll be able to do it uh, with appreciation, just allow yourself to appreciate where you are right now, because you know what, you don't uh, want to pull to stay in the oven unless you want hot batter chances are you want cake otherwise uh you know if you liked it like it want more subscribe want to book me like i said deets in the description box and please at least go preview uh my book words of grace from a professional which on kindle i think you'll like it uh 9.99 uh certainly uh, cheaper than a pack of cigarettes i should know uh, otherwise really hope you enjoyed this read and enjoy that playfulness my cancerians wishing you the very best and the very, very blessed of this your new moon and cancer too full in Aquarius my crab cakes. Hail, farewell, and blessed, blessed be.